Hello everybody and welcome back to another Inventor tutorial. Uh, today we're actually going to be touching on uh, these features right here which is the pattern features uh, such as rectangular, circle, and mirror. Um, it's actually quite simple uh, but for constructive purposes uh, we'll go over it anyway. Uh, so to say for the sake of argument here we're going to have a bolt pattern or a hole pattern. Uh, let me throw a point on here real quick. I'll constrain that. Throw a hole into the feature. Mm. Uh, leave it as a countersink. Mm. Yeah, it looks good enough for demonstrative purposes. Okay, as you see here, we have a uh, hole feature with a countersink. Nothing special, nothing too glorious. Uh, but instead of going through and putting hole after hole after hole after hole after hole, uh, what we're actually going to do is just give it a pattern. Uh, which is a rectangle pattern. So you go up here, you click on rectangle pattern, uh, you click on the entity or the feature uh, that you wish the pattern. Click your direction, uh, which I'm going to use this edge right here. Make sure my arrow is going in the direction if I or that I want. If not, uh, you have this flip button right here that will flip the direction that you're going. <clears throat> I know that it's going to be probably about hmm, five different holes and we're going to space it out and let's try and get this somewhat proportionate. At four and a half inches across this edge. Uh, if I wanted to I could also say okay well I'm going to go down in this direction as well and space it. I believe this part is 10 inches wide. Um, so give it a numerical value of 9. Yeah, it looks about right. Uh, notice I'm saying looks about right. I'm kind of guessing with stuff because I'm just trying to explain some of these features to you. I'm not uh, doing this for a specific project or anything like that. Uh, but as you'll see, you have your hole, and then you have a rectangular pattern. Uh, if you update this hole, let's see here, uh, just go into this, and change it to 5 sixteenths. Since I changed this feature here, uh, it actually went through and updated all the rest of my features. Uh, so if I go to inspect distance, you'll see instead of it being 266, um, two, I think was the original value of this diameter, uh, now it's 332, uh, which bumped it up. So instead of going back through and, and I mean, you can go through and do something such as this, you know, put a bunch of points and go through and align all these points. Then dimension them. Uh, I'm not going to dimension them, but for the sake of argument here, I could do that. And yes, you have everything in, you know, one uh, entity or feature. However, you're actually doing a little bit more work than you have to. Uh, so we'll get rid of that. Uh, the other one I'm going to touch base on real quick is circle pattern. Uh, that actually is quite beneficial for doing you know, bolt, patterns, uh, bolt patterns across a plate on an axis. Uh, so we'll give this dimension of that make sure this is in line give 
those values and then what you'll do is you'll go up here click on circular pattern again click your feature click your axis which since I have this centered it's gonna be my z-axis and now I could do my different placements uh, so if I had six holes on a 180 degree segment I could do that or I can even put in 270 uh, you know all of these values are changeable uh, but for this argument I'm gonna just leave it at 360 degree uh, I'm gonna change this to eight holes and again you can go through and flip the direction sometimes it's beneficial to do so or, or necessary to do so sometimes it's not uh, you can also throw in the symmetrical and things of that nature uh, hit OK and you're done and same deal with this if I go in and I change this from 3 8 to half inch and I hit OK it updates all my holes for me uh, instead of going through and if I did it individually uh, you'd have to change individuals and then you have all these different hole features across your, your parts tree and that's just uh, no bueno so to say um, from an engineering standpoint which I've had many years of working in uh, well working for different companies uh, doing engineering and design and things of that nature <clears throat> although like I said you can do all of your holes in one feature uh, it is not uncommon for people to prefer your hole and then a pattern uh, depending on the scenario uh, you actually get some people that get really really agitated whenever you have nine million holes and they're all uh, restricted to one whole feature uh, because you did everything in, in a sketch um, so patterns are your friends uh, don't take them for granted don't forget about them uh, and the one thing I will touch base on that I almost forgot about is the mirror pattern and that's exactly what it sounds like uh, so I'll throw a sketch on here of uh, well, I'll just do a rectangle do a cut extrude on this face and as you can see I have a nice hollow space now if I wanted to flip this and I wanted it to be symmetrical I just click on mirror click on my feature find my mirror plane which uh, for this instance is the YZ plane uh, click on it hit OK and there you go uh, that's really all that's needed uh, for something such as this again you could go through the work of you know sketching this square in and then sketching that square in and doing them uh, in one cut extrusion it all depends on uh, essentially who your your bosses or your professors are and uh, what their standards are and things of that nature uh, but that's about it for today and until uh, next time See you guys later.